Hi, I uh, just thought I'd just throw a little simple video today just uh, showing some of my, uh, just some of the common things I throw into my drawings. Uh, just a few little uh, um, ferns and and uh, some viney little flowers and uh, uh, just a few little simple sketches here. So this video will only be about 10 minutes long. So you're welcome to watch the whole video or forward to the end, whatever you want to do. I'm just using uh, my uh, new uh, rock ring uh, isograph uh, ink pens that I picked up recently. So I used to use the felt tip all the time, but uh, tell you, uh, I don't think I'll ever go back to the felt tip. I don't think uh, I thought about buying these years ago, but uh, for some reason I always hesitated. Uh, I was always hearing these stories about these uh, pens uh, clogging. One second, I just got to move a chair here. Sorry for the noise. I always heard about these pens clogging, and uh, I was a little bit concerned about that. You know, it would be $100, and then I'd get one use out of them, and they were clogged. But uh, uh, it turns out uh, it's simply that they'll clog if you don't look after them, right? So like with anything. So what I do is I just, uh, even on a day that I'm not going to be drawing, I'll just uh, shake them a little bit. They have like a little piston inside of them that uh, sort of shakes out the ink and uh, I'll do that and I'll just draw a line just to uh, keep the ink flowing on those days that I'm not drawing. So I actually did it this morning and uh, I'll probably be doing some drawing this evening on another drawing project that I'm working on. And so, yeah, that's what I, my, I do, and uh, they haven't clogged on me yet, so. Although I've only had them a few weeks, so, but uh, I don't see any reason why they would ever clogged on me, so. Probably at some point, maybe I'll do a video about these pens. I'll just do a few little doodle sketches, whatever. Kind of like that YouTuber, uh, what's his name, uh, Peter Draws? He does, he does the little uh, doodle sketches. And, uh, but I, I believe he uses like almost like a, a, an artist calligraphy type pen or a fountain pen. I think that's what he uses. I, I tried using those little calligraphy fountain pens and... Uh, excuse me, I'm just drinking some coffee here. Sorry for the slurping. But yeah, I, I, I tried using those fountain pens and uh, I found because the, uh, I, I don't know if it was just a subliminal thing, I never noticed that, uh, you know, because your, your, line draw, your line where you're drawing is offset from the center of the pen, I, I found that I was slightly uh, uncoordinated with my, uh, my artwork that I did. I just did a little sketch and... I didn't like it. I found it. I found I was a little awkward with it just because I wasn't used to it. Perhaps if I stuck with it and did a few more drawings, I'd be fine. But uh, but then what happens when I switch back to a regular pen? Then I have to relearn all that again. So. so yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm being a little bit sloppy here. I think yeah, I'm just doing these to. Um, give you the point and uh, so I'm not trying to be too uh, perfect per too much a perfectionist but uh, um, this just to sort of give you an idea how I how I do my um, some of my drawings here these um, pearly viney drawings yeah you have to sort of plan it out right um like usually when i do a drawing i'll do a, a pencil sketch before I, I i begin anything but it'll be very rough um but with this something like this you gotta kind of do your pattern and that way you get, have a good idea of uh, where your ins and outs because you want your vines to because when i do it see like it's the, the vines are growing, crawling around the stem that go under, over, under, over, right? So 
you have to have a good idea to get that uh, pattern going. Otherwise, it will look, um, you, you'll lose the, uh, the flow of that. Um, and I think if, if I catch it on this, on this uh, here, that I'll, I'll do, I'll show you uh, where I screwed up. I think this was it right here, I believe, where I went under, under twice. I kind of messed up. So it's getting a little cold out right now. It's uh, middle of November. And the leaves are almost off all the trees. It was really windy last night. I thought the house was going to fall down. And uh, pretty much all the leaves are off the tree. I, did the, I, I took the leaf blower out yesterday. I mean, not yesterday. Sorry, last Saturday. And I... Um, <clears throat> did the the front yard and uh that same day in the evening i looked out and it looked like i hadn't done a thing so i filled up uh three uh containers which feel like about 50 pounds of leaves per container and i did it three times and i, I um i sometimes I, I take the leaves and i put them in the chicken coop um, for insulation in the coming winter, right, in, in the uh, area that they walk around in. And then uh, their chicken coop is insulated itself, but I use the leaves in their uh, the little outdoor area that I have fenced off for the uh, chickens. So I can just give a little insulation. They don't have to walk on the frozen ground uh, when the ground eventually freezes in about a month from now. So. <clears throat> please don't ask me to if you have any questions or comments or that's fine i got no problem with that but don't ask me to identify these plants um they're not any particular plant except for this one here in the uh upper right hand corner um i guess the closest thing would be queen and queen Anne's, queen Anne's lace they're, they're very common around here in the fields i'm gonna be very sloppy with it sorry um again i'm just doing this video as a, as a quick demo uh, uh, of some of my common elements that i throw into my drawings Like if you if you actually look at a um, a completed uh, artist uh, drawing of like a nature scene, like a it could be a forest or a field, a field or whatever, right? Uh, like if, if you were to catalog all the different elements in that drawing, I mean, it, it looks it could be super detailed. There could be all sorts of plants and it just. You know, it's like a beautiful garden or a field or a forest. And uh, but if you catalog really all the items in that 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 drawing or painting, there's probably no more than you know maybe ten or maybe only six uh, elements or particular objects in those drawings that uh, that are just sort of repeated in different parts of the painting, right? And uh, in, in different sizes and angles and perspectives, right? So, I mean, uh, leaves, for example. You see my leaves I'm drawing here right now, and uh, just simple, just, they're just different shapes, right? And uh, the Queen Anne's lace, you know, same plant, but different shape, you know, grass, you know, just it, it different height facing a different direction it's just you know six or ten elements in a, in a in a painting whatever right that are just repeated over and over again i 
you know, I mean, it's, it's, <clears throat> it's like the symbols, I guess, you know, an artist uses symbols, like take uh, Thomas Kincaid, for example, right, you know, he's, he's just drawing, he draws a village, right, and all those windows, you know, they're all, all the same, they're just shaped differently, or a different angle, or a different perspective, right, and um, the roofs are done the same way, or the the facade, or the, or the, the walkways, or the, or the, or the, ro the road that's after a rainstorm. It's all the, the different same elements, right? It's just sim different like symbols used in drawing. It's just ways of drawing something. They're just shown, right? And, uh, a rubber abatement, right? The, animal, the hair on a bear or, or a tiger or, or, a, or a cougar, right? It's all same but anyways thank you for watching my video and hope you like and subscribe and thanks bye bye